ladies and gentlemen, from the LG Arena in Birmingham, good evening. This is Bama. Right, so our first fighter into the red corner, Martin McDonough, here at the fantastic LG Arena for Bama 3. I tell you what, this is uh, such a huge venue, a big step up for uh, UK mixed martial arts. Last night at this same arena, Michael Buble was, and now us, us idiots, and uh, 11 fantastic uh, fights. One of the most exciting fight cards British uh, mixed martial arts has ever seen. And I really want to second that. This is the strongest card that I have ever seen here in the UK. You must be excited as a uh, coming from a fighter as well. I mean, you must be getting buzzed about tonight, Pierre. I tell you what, it's it's really incredible that I just looking at the names on this card. Yeah. Any fight on this card could be a main event anywhere here in the UK or yeah. even other countries. Yeah. Oh, good music already. I prefer his music. It's interesting, this guy right so here. we uh, go with Mike Wood coming in, as you said, Chris made about him for um, Radio 4. So, uh, you can't hear anything. Malcolm can't hear anything in his can. They're completely dead. Malcolm is dead. So, we've got Mike Wood coming in now to the cage for this featherweight contest over three five minute rounds of action here at the LG Arena. Opening the show here. I mean, uh, no worry about picking out which one's Martin McDonough. So it's pink hair, pink shorts, and uh, pink little anklets, though. He's got a mean look going on there. Mike Woods just stepping into the cage. I hope they're not going to clash. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you something. You know that pink is the new black. I've not even saying this for a while, and I'm glad you're backing me up here. <laughs> but what I would like to point out is I believe that Mike Wood, coming into the blue corner, yep. um, he's actually part of a documentary, like you he said is. earlier. Yeah, Radio 4 are making a documentary about Mike Wood. So... MMA and Bama are really happening. Once you make it onto Radio 4, you know, those UFC suckers, they've not appeared on Radio 4 yet. The world is our oyster. But, but I will say one thing. Just imagine the extra pressure for Mike Wood, knowing that, you know, he's going to be a oh, television yeah. star. Yeah, and the radio star as well. He's doing it all. But, I mean, at the end of the day, when that bell goes, that'll all go out the window, won't it? He won't worry about that at all. Well, you've got to be Martin McDonough wants to make a name for himself. You know, he beats the guys having a Radio 4 documentary made about him. Both these guys will want to prove something tonight. Yeah, they're on the undercard, the first fight out here, but not in their minds. You know, that's a big arena like this. They will be fighting later on up the bill, going for title fights. This is where you make a name. How hard is it, uh, Pierre, for fighters to still get really pumped when they know they're on the undercard and you've got someone like Tom Watson fighting later on tonight? Like I said, none of that really matters. I mean, they're here. This fight is the biggest fight of their life, regardless of whether they're number one or, you know, the last fight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hands down, they're going to get it. They're all here tonight. And I just want to say that, you know, they're going to represent Bama to the fullest. And he weighed in at 145 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Good response here. Mike Wood's got a uh, good following here. Okay, fight to the centre, please. How's that? Okay, gentlemen, that? you both understand the rules that you're fighting under today? Yes? Okay, my last commands to you are obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Any questions from either of you? Touch them up. Best of luck to both of you. Back you go. 
So Mike Woods in the uh, camo trunks and Martin McDonough sporting the uh, very fetching uh, pink tie boxing shorts. And the thing here, Christian, at featherweight, we really expect a fast-paced bank, oh, won't yeah, you? These, crikey, these guys could be going at it, you know. First fight. Let's see if it sets the tone for a great bammer tonight at the LGN Arena. Are you ready? Let's fight! Here we go. I tell you what, as, an, as a fighter, that touch of gloves Great makes right it leg real. kick there. Crikey, Mike Wood is forcing the pace straight away. Well, as we said, it's a featherweight bout. You knew it was going to be fast, didn't you? Oh, without a doubt. These guys have nerves, and they're going at about 100 miles an hour. And uh, madonna has got a single uh, underhook at the moment. He's trying to get in a tie clinch stage. He's got, the, uh, he's got a single grab on the back of his neck there. These guys are really going for it. Very nice clinch work being uh, shown by both fighters. Working the dirty box and off the clinch. And let's be honest, guys, this is the difference between what we're watching now and boxing when you go up against the cage and you've got your back against it rather than the ropes, isn't it? OK, we've got a takedown now. Uh, the action doesn't stop. Yeah. So Mark Madonna's on top now. Mike Wood's on his back now. See what he's like uh, fighting from, his, uh, from the back now. He's trying to move himself on the side there, isn't he, on his hips there to try and... Well, oh, a big, that was a, a really big back. punch and elbow. A flat back is a bad back, meaning that you're not able to swivel the hips and he can pin you down. Yeah. So he's doing a good job of that. He's doing some punishment to there. Make distance to possibly get back I've up. Got the third punch that went unanswered there from Mar uh, Martin McDonough, who's on top still. And he's managed to posture right up there, hasn't he? So he can really get power into those punches. Yeah. It's a nice hammer fist coming in there, though, from uh, Mike Wood. Now, Mike Wood is uh, on the bottom with McDonough in the pink hair on the top. So what can uh, Mike Wood do from this position here? Is he going to want to try and get this fight up, get back up and... Without a doubt, he wants to get away from the fence because yeah. McDonough was doing a good down, uh, yeah. a good nice job of there. shutting his game down. But now, as you see, he's back onto all fours and hopefully he'll be able to drive away from the fence to keep uh, from being contained by McDonough. Two very strong guys managed to throw him on his back again there. And this is the thing, isn't it? You'll see one fighter trying to oh, dominate Frank, the tempo, and these, these three big punches, punches going in there unanswered again. He's taking a lot of punishment now. He's trying to posture up and really unleash now, isn't he, Pierre? Well, Madonna looks to be more of a look, striker. Wood now. looks to be more comfortable That's on the ground. It, nice reverse. Be careful not to give his back up. I, I tell you what, you're going to see this type of action. This yeah. is the first fight on the show. Great, this great is, opening, isn't it? Yeah, if this is a sign of fights to come, I'm telling you what, I'm going to get a Bama tattoo across my chest here tonight. <laughs> well, he's right. reversed him now. Mike Wood is now on top. They've literally reversed roles now, and uh, he's in his guard. But you've got to say, this is the first time in the fight that, that Wood really has had any opportunity, and he must maximise this now, surely. He's got to start making uh, use of that uh, aggressive position at the moment. He's hitting with a couple of body shots, but no clean face shots yet. And McDonough looks like he's going for Gogo Plata, yeah. but opts to go back full guard. <laughs> and he does look comfortable there, doesn't he? Yeah, well he's pretty relaxed. That's why they call this mixed martial arts. I mean, you're not going to see just a traditional stand-up striker anymore. I mean, you have to learn the game. Sure. And especially here in the UK, all the fighters are, are evolving at such an incredible pace. I mean, look how many guys we have in the UFC fighting over in Japan. And again, it's top honors to be here, even in the first fight here at Bama tonight. But for me, of the two men, the, what, the guy on top... Is he trying to, get a, uh, trying to get a triangle then? I don't think he's quite got it sunk in, has he? But he's trying to get that triangle, put his head down now and sink those uh, legs in. Has he got the triangle? He's putting his head down there. Yeah, he's going to he's got that pressure. sunk in. Cut off Mike Woods air. looks like he's gone bright red now. Yeah, that's just a sign that, you know, the triangle was sunk in. Yeah, this is like desperation there He needs from to pull the, the, uh, sink those legs a lot harder now. And, Pull that head right into it, doesn't he, Pierre? Yeah. And that's it. He's gone nice. That was a great win there for uh, Martin McDonough. That's a guy to watch. Well, very comfortable, wasn't he, in any position. And even when he had his back to the floor, you still felt he was the man in control. McDonough really impressed me tonight with his uh, ground control, especially when he had top position, laying down heavy, heavy leather. He showed that he was versed on the ground, you know, moving the hips out, trying to crawl up for submissions of his own. Um, and again, uh, paid off tonight with a triangle choke. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Wood has sold the stop of this fight at 352 in the first round, declaring the winner from the red corner by way of triangle submission, Martin McDonough. Okay, I'm the winner. What a great opening fight tonight.
Big round of applause for uh, Martin. Martin. That is a mean look there. You've got the pink, the pink, the pink. I like it. You happy with that win? Yeah, that's how I roll. That's how you roll, baby. And uh, do you think you were going to get past the first round? Was that the game plan tonight, to get down to the ground? The truth is, I didn't know anything about him. So, my coach just told me to rush in, take him down, and dominate, and that's what I've done. Do you think you had the triangle in quite tight? It looked like he was wiggling around a bit, and then you really sort of pulled his neck down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to confuse him with a few strikes. As soon as I got his arm across, that was it. Game over, baby. I like it. Okay, great opening fight. I hope the rest of us entertaining as that. Well done, Martin. Good win. Nice one.